So LSU in white. Texas Southern in the maroon. And here we go. Smith jumping center wins the tip. Van Lith at the top. Takes it down, hangs in the air, and scores off the window. A good start for her. And, Victor, we've seen her with slow offensive starts in a few games this year. Well, we've started to slowly see her offensive uh, confidence build in these last couple of games. Claiborne, Knight, Phillips, Belton, and Turner in the starting lineup for Texas Southern. We'll get the LSU starting lineup in just a moment. A shot off the window is knocked home by Jada Belton. A 6'4 sophomore from Baltimore. LSU starting five, Flaugier Johnson, Haley Van Lith, Michaela Williams, Tamaya Smith, who's had a really good start, and Anissa Morrow coming into her own. And Texas Southern takes it away and gets the running layup. Poa replaced Van Lith after that turnover. Williams comes up firing and bags one immediately from outside. Does she have any limit to her range? Twice Louisiana Gatorade Player of the Year. Blasey Johnson takes it down to score. Seven quick points for LSU. Remember, Blasey Johnson is coming off of an illness where she missed a couple of games and was slowly getting back into the rhythm. Last time out in Hammond, she led the team with 17 points. So you can see she's starting to find her full-time groove. LSU rising to the defense. Help defense from Samaya Smith. Look at that elevation, too. She just times it right. Jordan Turner trying to take it up. And Samaya comes from the help side. I've had the opportunity to dribble and spin to the basket. It's a long three, and it is on the money. Greta Galban. It's her first three-pointer of the year. She wears number 23 in white. She do, but I mean, she she's such a threat from anywhere on the floor. Texas Southern launches another three. It's in and out. Missed by Phillips. Here comes Flauge Johnson. Williams on the right side. Flauge crosses over. Lays it up. Lays it in. Up that time from Flauge. Going down the lane. She had Michaela Williams on the right side. But she took two big steps. That is blocked cleanly by Williams. Van Lip feeds it back to Poa. She lays it in. Offense with a pass or two in between. Well, and that's great play by your one-two guard right there. Both of those, Poa and Haley Van Lith, filling the position of point guard, and in that time being the running guard. Great job passing all the way down the floor. How about that left-handed scoop by Greta Galvan? She's got five points. One on a triple in that bucket, and there is Smith. Going back to the lineup you're talking about, look, this is a chance once again. Still lots of new faces, even though they're not all high school stars, lots of new faces. Plus you by six, four minutes to play in the opening period. Turnover's an early problem for Texas Southern, and so has been the pace of the game. Other than Haley List's first jump shot, that was a two-pointer, as she now drains one from the three. We talked about the game that... Flaugé Johnson had in Hammond against Southeastern. Morrow had 10 points, 10 rebounds, her first double-double of the year for LSU. Van Lip overplays the pass, makes the interception, takes it down, scores, and is fouled. Well, internationally, and in that game, you're either passing the outside or you're driving, and she is so good at getting to the basket. A long ball three, an old-fashioned three-point play, and a bucket for Van Lip on a layup. Jordan Turner gets into the cop scoring column. Johnson fakes left, dribbles right, slides, puts it up, and scores. Well, up and in and a chance for the three-pointer. She gets it. Kick out for a three ball in the corner, and it's a little bit long by Macy Quiller. Here's Smith. Then lift. Six seconds difference between... The end of the first quarter and the shot clock. Van Lith still dribbling. Plenty of time to shoot. Van Lith gets in trouble on the baseline. Gets rid of it. Kick out. Taking that shot clock down about five seconds. Flaugge going baseline. Flips it back out for the jumper. Claiborne had a layup opportunity but could not finish it. Setter Jim Hines held a 100-meter record for 15 years. Can you believe that? He was the first man to break the 10-second barrier in the 100 meters. She has slimmed down. She looks physically, she looks great. But she stayed here to work on her body. She's long, she's lean, she's quick. And Victor, she's the type of player little Absolutely. things so, so well. She played on a high school team in the Dallas Metroplex area that had seven players on that team that all got D1 scholarships. It was another beautiful pass by Flaugier Johnson on the bounce pass. 
in terms of NBA references. She made the one-handed bounce pass to Haley, turned around, was halfway back to down the floor as Haley was laying that one in. Van Lift leads all scorers with 10 points. Van Lift defending, but a nice fading using the window on the left side. Williams gets it down low to Morrow, and when she gets it... LSU takes it away. Michaela Williams got a hand on it, leading the three-on-two break, and then throws it late to Van Lift. Six turnovers now for LSU. The lead is 17 early in the second quarter. Van Lith reaches in. A looper is up, and it's good. Calvin had the opportunity to try to just put it in over the rim instead of using the backboard. LSU in a bit of a dry spell right now. But leading by 15 with seven minutes remaining in the second quarter. Morrow. Peeled back to intercept it. Lange on the spin. The lead is 17 for the home Tigers. 6.20 to play. Van Lith reaches down, takes it away from Belton. Van Lith on the move, stops and pops. It rolls, it drifts off the net, and it is put back in by Flaugé Johnson. She's got 11, and she leads everybody. That's nicely done, and a foul on Johnson. I think so with two fouls, no need to pick up a cheap third with still more than halfway to go in the second quarter, so she goes to the bench. Lawson is out of Capitol Heights, Maryland. Here comes Poa. Poa streaking into front court. Lobs it down low to Smith, and there was a push off. Oh, nice cut to the lane, but Lawson could not finish. Here's Williams. She's at five points, and they came early. Morrow with strength. She's got six. That time just powered her way back to get position from underneath the backboard, but wound up getting a good angle to put that in on the right side. Well, she would like to see Del Rosario a little lower down on the lane with the size advantage she has standing at 6-6. Try to get her a little lower on the block. She comes out to defend. The dribbler goes right. Van Lith, Williams, Poa, Rosario, Del Rosario, and Morrow on the court right now for the Tigers. Poa fakes, dribbles, scores. Alyssa Knight did everything she could to try to get there, but too slow. This is the largest lead, but she has been silent since then. A couple of rebounds, a couple of assists. That was her first field goal attempt inside the three-point line from McKayla. And in one game in high school, she shot 26 free throws. Oh, that kind of high school track record, too. You know she can score the ball. Dribbles right. Swings it into the corner. Shot is up, and Kent comes on and misses it. Van Lift saves it, but throws it right back. Van Lift defending. A shot over Del Rosario. Misses from the wing by Belton. Poa. Up to Morrow. Long three. Del Rosario right there to put it back home. No challenge putting it back up and in. That's her first bucket. Van Lift. Steps in front of the pass. Sends it ahead to Morrow. Dribbles once and lays it in. Be really good for LSU. And then, of course, when they come back here, the monster game that everybody's been looking forward to is Virginia Tech comes to town. So. Del Rosario knocked that one loose. It's picked up by Poa. 20 turnovers in the first half. Oh, what a pass. What a lay-in. Oh, catch off of that pass. But they immediately put it up and in. And then a block. Ball's on the floor. Two Tigers are there. Four in scoring and number 12 in rebounding. That was at DePaul. This is, defense. this is a continuation of the momentum you built last week. The early morning game against Kent State when all the kids were here. The start of this week to keep going for when you go to the islands for your next two. A lot of, a lot of, arguments, a lot of arguments that she... Usually wins, but she wasn't going to win that one. Morrow knocks it away. Takes it down. And it's blocked from behind. Swatted away by Imani Morris. 
at 6-6 to come down the floor. Well, Rosario on the receiving end of the Morris pass. That was a nifty little pass in, in a close space. Three seconds left. And that is the conclusion of the first half. We get the third quarter started. 49-18, LSU leading with Smith ripping off the rebound after the miss by Jordan Turner. And the Tigers go right back inside. Morrow with another bucket. That is blocked by Morrow, taken back. Three ball up and three ball in by Tatiana Claiborne. That's her first bucket of the game. LSU gets it right back down low tomorrow, and she scores. LSU on the steal. Johnson takes it all the way. Reverse layup. Yes! Well, and how about the English on that one? We saw the finger roll in the highlights at halftime from the last Euro step. Morrow poking at it. And Samaya Smith, speaking of poke, may have gotten poked in the eye as Texas Southern finishes. A nice and those 30 points off of those turnovers so for those, LSU. Those, those turnovers have not all been self-inflicted wounds for Texas Southern. As Van Lith hits another jumper. But you have 24 turnovers and 23 points. That tells you the struggle that Texas Southern has had tonight. That shot we just saw by Van Lith was not falling for her in the first two or three right. games. Yep. She's out here an hour and a half with another steal. Morrow overplaying. LSU plays catch. Morrow can't finish. Gets it back and now scores and is fouled. She'll have a chance for the three-point play. Michaela Williams forces it. The Top two transfers according to a lot of services. I say that, that's the big note on the bottom. Both of them looking for a new opportunity, and Kim Mulkey able to get both of them the Baton Rouge. And she hits one from in front of her own bench. She had five points early in this ball game and has been quiet ever since until she hits that three. She now has eight. And Texas Southern throws it to no. Van Lith goes baseline, snaps a pass out. Three ball up by the freshman. Oh, yes! Michaela Williams, the Sultan of String. Coming right back with a three ball is Tanaya Lawson. Here's Van Lith, crosses over, and that's blocked. The Sultan of String. The freshman, Michaela Williams. Here's Van Lith. LSU follows once. Blage turns, loops it up, leaves it short. Offensive rebound, foul call. And I think you're exactly right. I think Van Lith was anticipating closer defense. His last couple of buckets in a spurt. Michaela Williams now in double digits. That's four Lady Tigers. Just under four and a half to play in the third period. LSU double teams down low. The kick out and the deuce in and out and back in. That's four for her. Michaela Williams. Oh, well, she was building up that big lead, and Anissa Moore was sitting on five points. Now, I mean, uh, excuse me, Michaela Williams. Now she's sitting on 14 points, and Flarge leads another breakaway right up at the rim. Williams has 14. Is that five in double figures now for the Tigers? At least four. That's four. And uh, Rosario has four points. That's your score. Poa lobs it down to Del Rosario, and she lays it in. Have to take extra dribbles. Just one power dribble, put it up off the glass. Use that 6-6 frame to your advantage. And working that footwork, Poa might have been called for the foul. Against Texas Southern. Victor, I think it's a testament to... LSU fans and this LSU team for that matter that nobody who walked in this building tonight and this team as it team. defends its national championship. Absolutely. They want to come see the talent that they are cheering for. Koa. 
Knocks down both free throws. Charger was trying to bring all these new faces in to, to rebuild programs. Smith rebounds the miss. Williams on the move. Looking to find Johnson. She'll take a three. Look at the rebound by Michaela Williams and the pass to Smith. Omaya Samaya. But you get the impression. You lost Alexis Morris, who was your true leader at point guard position last year for the national championship. So they've been working a couple players in. Look at that power move. Del Rosario. Cranks it to Kent. Pull up jumper. No. Long. Samaya. Swack freshman of the year since 2013. But again, in this new era, it's just kind of the nature of what it now is, college basketball. 15 of 17 from the line, Victor. And that's... That's been uh, kind of a shallow water spot for LSU in the past. There's been some leakage at the free throw line, if you will, but Tigers shot free throws very well. Only missed two of 17 tonight. That's a great sign to see that consistency at the free throw line, especially when you have a team like LSU that has the size that it has. LSU was 73.3% as a team, just as we speak of the effect. That's banged in. And her nice. leg was stretched out, and you can see her limping. Del Rosario tips it right back underneath, and the second effort is good. I'm sorry, 10 now after that last one. Number five, the 6'4 sophomore, but Del Rosario was trying to go up and set a screen. She was getting bodied by Belt, and Del Rosario threw an elbow, and they had already called it. Del Rosario got a piece of that jump shot by Belton. How about that? Sling it over the shoulder. <laughs> she made it look as easy as you just reeled it off of what she did. That's the player we focused on early in the ball game for Texas Southern. Kent tosses it back inside. And Bartlett recovers. Seven and a half minutes to go. Van Lith is the first to get to the loose ball. Lays it up and scores. Del Rosario with the foul. 6.50 to go. He's a junior. Talk about LSU's domination. A pull up three. Misses very badly, and here comes Poe. Down to Kent. She went a little deep, but now being thrust into the role of lead point guard or one and one A with Poe. I really like her basketball IQ. Some of that's been on display. I think she's the glue stick on this team for LSU. Might have to be that and some as the schedule picks up and the challenge, level of challenge picks up as a nice layup. Yeah, game especially there. in that role, you have to have a good feel. When can we run? Tigers. That four and double figures at the moment. Del Rosario makes it five. That's denied by Bartlett. Poa on the move. Circles the three-point line and is bumped, and Poa will shoot 18 more. 18 to 21 at the line so far with Poa at the line. 18 to 22 now. Well. Ferociously. Velez is defending the three ball, and there's an easy catch by Del Rosario. Here's Velez. Kent smacked hard. Two free throws. Talked early about Kent. Del Rosario no, put back. it on the floor. Yeah, go back that's, up. that's not what you need to do when you're that big. Back up and in. Poa on the move, but Velez trying to clear out. Del Rosario running the floor, but Texas Southern gets back. Del Rosario is on the receiving end of that deflection. She found herself in possession of that ball after it was battered around a couple of times. Good spin move. It was right there inside the lane to the right side of the rim. Came up short on the layup attempt. Del Rosario powers it in. And she's getting extended playing time tonight, Victor. And you can't put a price on that. As we talked about these new players getting them used to what's to come and getting that playing time. She has 
with nine or ten field goal attempts tonight. That's certainly the most in any game she's had all year long. Izzy Besselman is going to check in for the Tigers. Thank you. Velez defending. Trying to take it away from Holmes. And Velez. The rebound hits the floor. Out of bounds off of Texas Southern. Here's Kent, forces it in, off the feed. In soccer, they would call that a set piece. Having been a, an Episcopal night here in Baton Rouge. And that one bounces by Bartlett. Velez claiming no, no, no. But when you have a comfortable 60-point lead. I'd like to see Velez and Van Lith in the game. It would be interesting, wouldn't it? Especially when you get, them, get those facial expressions on defense. They both like the body up. And she's played more tonight than she has in any previous game. Velez. Del Rosario on the catch. Loops it up. And misses wide right. Free throws coming for Shamari Phillips. Her mom, Annette Smith, might. Remember earlier we saw the graphic about weeks ranked mm -hmm. in the top 25 and we saw Texas? Her mother was an All-American at Texas. Finished, the, finished her career at the all-time leading score and led the Longhorns to the 86 national title. That was a year when they went 34-0 been inducted in the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame. So certainly a lot of basketball conversation in her household. Thirty seconds to play. A pair of deuces working against each other. Nicely knocked down by Holmes. That's 11 for her after a slow start. She's come off the bench and tied to the team leading score. But this is what LSU wanted, as we talked about earlier. The final result was never in question. LSU certainly had Texas Southern outmanned. But it's good momentum to keep LSU going off of the win from Southeastern. Now they'll go to the Cayman Islands and play back-to-back -back games that you want to keep that momentum going before they come back home and Virginia Tech rolls into town. So Kim Mulkey was able to get done what she wanted from her team tonight. And five and double figures for the second time this year as the Tigers...